Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. This is Thrift with Dr. Lori. I'm the PhD Antiques Appraiser. Today, I'm joining Patty in Cheswick, Pennsylvania at Riverview Antique and Marketplace. Hi, Patty. How are you? Ready to shop? Hi, Dr. Lori. I'm ready. Okay. So now let's see what we've got. I want to start with jewelry. You know where I'm starting because that's where the money is. Let's see. That's right. What have we got? Show me some jewelry, ladies. And well, Leanne's on the camera. Hi. Hi. This is a beautiful brooch. Okay, let's look, let's look at the brooches. Let's look at the brooches since you started there. Let's go over there. Nice and close. Let's see. What do I like? What do I like? <laughs> well, I like the necklaces, I got to say. I went to brooches first, but I got to say I like the necklaces. I really like the crystal necklaces. I like these necklaces that are chunky and big with the beads. Yeah. Yeah, that's really a, a style that you see in the 1960s, revived all the way back to the, to, to the 1920s, and longer is better for me, you know? It kind of oh, makes yeah. everything, it makes everything look, well, you're lean, but it makes everything look lean. You go way, way down, right? Nice and, nice right. and long. Uh -huh. And then you, can, then you can double wrap them too, right? So that's tell, right. Me, tell me a little bit about that crystal necklace there. Well, I, I think they call it Austrian crystal. Yeah, Austrian crystals typically very, very nice, clear in terms of it. And let's look at that clasp before we get yeah. to pricing. Let's take a look at that clasp. You got a hook on it, and it hooks to another one of the crystals. And you can right. basically make it, you know, this length or this length or this length, right. whatever you want. That's what's nice about it. You know, alternatives are are great when you have a lot of options is good. So yeah. you got a double. I like the way it's strung. But, you know, I like it to have some movement. So when they're strung really tight, well, that's good for pearls. For crystals, you want to make sure you have a little bit of movement the way these have. Oh, I like really? that. So what did you price that at, Patty? Um, we have $32 on this. Okay, so that's probably right around retail. 32 is about what that's worth. I've seen them go at 50 but I've also seen them go at 20 yeah. You know? So uh -huh. you're you're right, like right up the middle, and you, of course, you know your market. You know the folks who are coming in who are looking at at that type of piece, Austrian right. crystal pieces. Also high quality those Austrian crystals. What That's about right. some of the brooches? Which brooch do you like? You pick your favorite, then I'll pick mine. <laughs> well, I I kind of love this one. I don't know. Can you put it up against the up against the jacket so we have a contrast up against the jacket? Mm -hmm. There you go. Can we get close in there, Leanne? Let's mm -hmm. take a look. Oh, that's good. I like that. Okay. So you yeah, like that. So kind of like a Maltese cross, you know, crosses all different types. And the ones that have the, the larger arms at the end and then they get, they taper in is known as the Maltese cross. And then it has some other elements, some colorful inset faux stones in the piece. In the piece. Is it marked? It is. Hi. Yes, it is. Okay. It is marked. Mm. Can we see it? Is, it? is it a Shriner? Can you? No. No. Okay. I can't. Boy, my eyes aren't what they used to be, right? <laughs> well, whether or not you can re read the mark, let's put it this way. <laughs> the mark is really important, but the mark is also a, an indicator. You know, the mark is a mark, usually of higher quality or of an, or of an established costume jewelry business. Now, how much is that one? Because there's a, probably a pretty big value on that one. How much mm -hmm. is that one? I think we had 28 on that one. Well, 28, I think, is really great for that because that's the type of statement piece when you're looking at brooches and a brooch like that, you probably could command about 55 for that. So you're, you know, about almost half price, Patty. So that's great. Wow. So now you know how to go to Patty and get a relatively inexpensive that's right. coat. Okay, so <laughs> let me pick one too now off that coat. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, uh, let's see. What do I like? What do I like? I like the holiday one. I like the little Christmas tree over oh, there. Mm -hmm. I also like, you got any pearls? I love pearls. Oh, oh, oh I, like the circles. I like the circles. I like the leaf. See the leaf down at lower left? I like that one. I like the starburst above the leaf. I, how about the mm -hmm. rose? My mother's middle name is Rose. I like the flower. No, mm -hmm. I think the starburst is nice right there. It's kind of like a starburst got a little cluster involved. Over to mm -hmm. the left. Over to the left. Oh, I don't know. That name. one right oh. there. Oh, underneath, yeah. underneath the star. Oh, Patty. Underneath the star. Oh, that oh one's yeah. Good. That's beautiful. That one's beautiful. That it's one's missing beautiful. A, yeah, it's missing a couple stones. Oh, okay. this one. But that's not difficult to replace, to missing stones. No. So how much is the one with the missing stones? Did you mark that? And then I'm going to go straight up. Underneath that big blue star. Yeah, that one's 10. 
Okay, well, 10 is good because it's missing some stones. You got to do a little work on it. Yeah. Okay. And then above the rose, the one above the rose. Oh, uh, this one. That oh, yeah. one. That's the one I was looking at initially. Uh -huh. Yeah. That one's $10. That one's a deal. Yeah. That one right there is a deal. That one's nice gold tone metal. That piece is, of course, the starburst, the late 1950s. When we're thinking about, of course, the ideas of space, we're thinking about the ideas, of course, of uh, even, the, even the China of that time period is like that. The 1950s, those starburst yeah. kinds of forms, they're usually two-tone colors in terms of the metal, and sometimes they have something inside, too. So I like that as a 50s piece. Can we get a close-up of that again? So everybody mm -hmm. can see what I'm talking yeah. about when I'm talking about starbursts. Yeah. So it kind of looks like a starburst with those um, elements that are coming out and then the middle of it. I like that one very, very much. Mm -hmm. And the, the circle pins are kind of classic. Did you wear a circle pin? You know, high school, I remember the circle pin. Yeah. You know? yeah, wore a circle yeah, yeah, pin. yeah. Mm -hmm. What else is on this jacket that you like, Patty? Um, well, let me see here. I, well, I like this clown. He's pretty cute. But see, I can't see the clown. We get a good yeah. shot of the clown on the side. Yeah, there's the clown. These, oh, I'm, he's I'm nice. About they look really old, and there's a pair of them. Oh, those are pretty nice. Now those are nice. Let's fit, let's let's talk about those. Let's go back to the clown. But those, in fact, the idea of having um, a couple of baskets or a a pair of something. Typically, you're going to see those, and those are going to be on lapels. You know, um, mm -hmm. oftentimes on coats as well. So that sort of brings us you know, into those jackets, those smaller pieces. That's nice, nice and close. And then uh -huh. the, the clown, if you went back to the clown, the clown yes. is a nice piece of enamel work. So now, again, you've got gold tone metal. You even have the details like, of course, around the collar and the hands are a nice detail. I like the figural details. And this is an innovation for many of these to have those figural details too. How much is the clown? Uh, the clown is 20, six bucks. Oh, six is low because the clown is probably worth 15 to $18. How about mm -hmm. the, the two baskets? Uh, let's see what we have on those. We have $10 on each, each, I think each one. Yes. Yeah. So those I are nice too. And at 10, they're probably worth about 15 each as well. So you've got a nice jacket there. Now, would you just go up? Oh, I'm gonna. I'm going to. I. You're always selling them individually, right? Yes. 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 Okay. So now, in your jewelry area where you are, Patty, let's mm -hmm. see what else you've got. Do you have any sets? I like sets because you can increase value about ten percent. Here's a reselling tip: ten percent for collection value or set value. So if something is worth a hundred bucks, you can actually mark it up another ten dollars to one hundred and ten dollars, another ten percent, because in fact. It is a set because why? The buyer doesn't have to run around and amass the set. You've done that work for them. So that's one of the important things. So, oh, we're looking at yeah, sets. Okay, we're digging now. Patty's oh, digging now. One? I love to dig. That one's really Patty's cool. Patty's digging. I love to dig. Oh, I like that one. That uh -huh. one's nice. Yeah, this one's really old, I think. That All right. One. And how about the cluster I mean, earrings? Let's pull out those cluster earrings right there. They're pearl. You just had your hand on them. Let's uh -huh. pull those out and take a look. Yeah, that's great. I can see those right there. The reason why I mention those is because a lot of people have the cluster earrings and a lot of people like them. When the cluster has a little bit more going on than the cluster, it really is something that is of interest to folks. The way they're made and also the way they actually are put together. In addition to the fact that even though they're pearls, and a lot of people feel like pearls are a little bit matronly, but pearls, in fact, because of their faux pearls, because of their luster, because this is all costume jewelry, remember, that, that set could go about $45 for the set. What do you have it priced at, Patty? Uh, we have uh, $7. $7 for that set when they're 45. So that's about wow, five yeah. times what they're going to be worth. So that's a lot of money. I think yeah. that's, a, that's a great deal there. So again, mm -hmm. if you can get, um, if you can get, of course, a set of those, um, of those pearls like that, that's really great. I like those very well, very well. Mm -hmm. And then oh, these beautiful. earrings are pretty interesting. Yeah. I like those as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. So they're kind of, they're kind of zigzag. They sort of have a flag motif. They kind of feel like a flag to me. Yeah. But, yeah, but they're, 
Now, are they uh, pierced or are they lever back or are no, they? they? They actually have a name and they're, yeah, they're the clip-ons. Okay. And they're signed. I just can't see that. Okay. Yeah, Leanna has younger eyes than I do. Okay. And they're hinged. So they're kind of interesting. Yeah, they have yeah. a hinge. Yeah, so they would so dangle they... by themselves. They'd move. They have a little bit of Yeah, move. they would move alone. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like those. And then yeah, we like. We have... Go ahead. We have another. I think it says D I N E R, but I'm not certain. It looks like Stein. They look like Steiners. Oh, S T I N E R. Y yeah, perhaps. Yeah, those are nice. Those are nice. And what do oh, you think of these, these Doctor Lori? I'm sorry, hon. What do you think of these, Doctor Lori? I think they were for your shoes. Can I see the back? There's nothing on the back. Yeah, okay. So a couple of different things that we see with a lot of these. In the 1950s and 60s, you had shoe buckles. You also had buckles that went in cleavage. Those are not those, but they went. it was just something that went right in the, into your cleavage. Then there are uh -huh. some that are going to be for scarves that you could wrap a scarf around. We oh, could do that, too. Work. So all, yeah. different types, yeah, all different types because a lot of the fashions that we don't use anymore are what some of these pieces of jewelry are for. But then the repurposers get out there and they say, hey, I can repurpose that. Right, so right. Use it for something different. Love so, yeah. That. So you've got everything from belt buckles to, of course, clips. Oh, and if you had the big uh, wool coat or big fur coat, you actually would have a shoulder brooch really big on the shoulder. We don't do that anymore either. When big shoulders and shoulder pads were in, I always think of Linda Evans. I don't know if you remember her from Dynasty. Oh, yeah, Blonde, yeah, beautiful, big, shoulder big shoulders. And my uh -huh. mom used to always say, we love shoulder pads. See, you have nice shoulders. <laughs> you know, good That's shoulders. I missed a lot of furniture, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All of my... All of our thrifting owners, our shop owners, all of them are like, they're strong ladies. They know what's what. Yeah, what else do you want to show me? What else do you want to show me? You do have to be strong in this business. Uh -huh. how, about, how about some colored glass, Patty? Got any colored oh, glass? Yeah, we love colored glass. Yeah, we love colored glass. What up here? Uh, up in here, I would show her maybe. Yeah, we have here. some. Yeah. Well, let's get in there and take a good look. Okay. Now, me, I go directly to the cobalt glass. What about you? Oh, I love blue. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I love blue. I love blue. Okay. How about, how, hi, Leanna. There's Leanna. Hi. How about um, Shirley Temple? Don't we all have the Shirley Temple? Shirley Temple's oh, yeah. everywhere, right? Uh -huh. We have that all over the place. And a lot of people have the actual bowl. I've appraised it many, many times. And of course, the pitcher, the cream pitcher for the oatmeal, because you put the cream in. There's oftentimes a cup for your orange juice, right? So the Shirley mm -hmm. Temple. That one has a very nice image, I have to say. Sometimes you don't see the image with all her hair. You know, you only kind of see, a, uh, mm -hmm. you see her face, but not all of her hair and all of her curls. So I yeah. really like that one. That's nice. How much are you charging for that? Uh, let's see. We have oops, 10 bucks. Yeah. So they're usually between about 10 and $15. So that's typically okay. what they are. If you have the whole set, you increase value a little bit. How about this blue and clear glass um, bowl that's toward the front of the cabinet? Oh, I love this. I love yeah. that. I love that. I love that. <laughs> it's shaped like, you know, a, um, a shamrock. Now, Leanne... Uh, yeah, three leaf. Yeah, like a shamrock. Leanne, uh -huh. now, uh, you know, I'm sure you're not my age. So tell me, what do you love about that, Leanne? Um, I love that it, it's kind of chunky the way it's cut, and it kind of looks like ice a little yeah. bit. Yeah, it mm -hmm. kind of, it, it has a lot of, it has a lot of depth, and weight is what I like to look for. Well, yeah, I don't like yeah, the weight because I have a lot of weight. Uh, but I like the, I like weight when it comes to glass. You know, it usually relates to quality, right? That's right. a very nice awesome. piece. And I like the actual, what I would call two-tone. Like me, I put that with blue, white, blue onion pottery or ceramics oh. because of that idea of sort of the blue with the clear kind of reminds me of blue and white. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Okay. I think yeah. that's really nice. I think that's a good idea. Good. Now, how much is that? See, now me, I I go fifty bucks on that. How much is that? We have thirty-two on that. Oh, that's a deal. I think that's yeah. a deal on that. That's a okay. nice piece. So yeah. the cobalt glass. Okay, so we know that there are different colors that are necessary, different 
metals and oxides that are necessary to make colored glass, right? So uh -huh. for cobalt, you know, you need particular metals and oxides. What other colors have we got? We've exhausted blue. I well, love blue, though. supposed to be, someone told me this is called art glass. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's well, like a purple, opalescent. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice, oh, that's a nice opalescent. It's not really iridescent, more opalescent glass. Iridescent glass is what I have here on the table. These Fenton pieces are iridescent. Oh, maybe it's like this. Yeah, yeah. You have an iridescent piece right there. It looks like a, a jar, right? The canister yeah, jar. Yeah, biscuit jar. Uh -huh. Biscuit jar. And yeah. that one's a nice iridescence. That kind of has that um, amethyst color, kind of a purple, you know, mm -hmm. not quite, you know, a little bit of marigold, you see, but basically that's a nice sort of um, amethyst and uh, indigo, the, the purple and the blues and of it. this is a really beautiful piece, too. That's a nice piece. Now, that looks more like, of course, those traditional carnival glass vases that lots of people like. And yeah. that's a nice pop of color, early 20th century. So now let's look at the elements of that. Can you take that down? Let's look at that a little bit longer, Patty. Here's, uh -huh. here's the things. Everybody shoots right down inside so you can see how it is inside. You can see where they actually have sprayed on the metallic oxide and allowed them to, in fact, heat up and then anneal or cool down in the process of making the glass. Also, I like the free form of the, of the, um, of the, edge. the edge, right, of the top. Yeah. And then the nice where it goes up and, and that's nice and slender at the bottom. But at the bottom is really where all the information is. If you look at the bottom and you notice, this one has less of the color as we get to the bottom. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. It starts to be a little bit more clear than I would like. I would like to see not so much the orange, but more of that yellow come all the way down into the bottom. Yeah. And if you look on the underside, if you look on the underside, remember where we are in the world today, you know, at, at Riverview, we're very close to, of course, the great West Virginia and Pittsburgh, of course, glass factories, places yeah. like, you know, Jeanette and, of course, others. This one's a nice piece. So you have 30 on this? Yes. Okay, and that's a nice piece. But at the bottom, you'll notice the clarity of the glass at the bottom. That, yeah. that you're looking at. Can you show it to the camera? Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay. And that particular piece has a nice, a nice iridescence going up, but it really isn't iridescent as you're at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I don't want iridescence to be at the bottom, too. So I would probably only go through. I'm sorry, Patty? No, go ahead. I'm, asking, I'm wondering what you would, you would put on it. What I would probably say is 30 is a good number for it. Um, however, if you had one that had more of that yellow going all the way down into the base, into that bottom and underneath, then uh -huh. I would be probably somewhere in the 45 to $55 range. But I think okay. your price is spot on for that particular piece. Okay, but that good. piece is traditional. Everybody loves it. Okay, and Patty, so now you have any red glass, ruby glass, or maybe cranberry glass? I collect the cranberry, so I don't have that here. That's at my house. Okay. <laughs> I don't blame you. Uh -huh. I don't blame you. If you got it, you collect it, it goes home. I don't blame oh, you. Oh, yeah. As soon okay, as I so get that's it. nice. I like that. Uh -huh. I like that. Yeah. And with the lid, we want to always make sure that the lid, of course, is the correct lid. That one's obviously correct, but they're not always obviously correct. Right. I like that set a lot. And other pieces, you know, and you don't need to have the whole the whole dining room table full of red glass. Really, you only need a couple pieces, right, Patty? That's right. Just yeah. a little color pop. Yeah, just a little color pop. So I like these, and I like these about $70 for the pair. How much are they for the pair? Ooh, I'm not near there. 30 For the pair? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd go higher for those for the pair. For a couple of reasons. First of all, I like the form. It takes a lot to make those forms and to keep them in good condition. And yours yeah. are looking like they're pristine. They look like they're in perfect condition. The other thing about them that I like a lot is I like the fact that you have the pair. And I also like um, the fact that you have the faceted elements, which are pretty nice too. Now, would you sell them as a, uh, would you sell them individually? Like what if somebody said, I only need, I only need the sugar bowl. Uh, I, Mm, I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, I would think probably not. I was just wondering what you would do. Any yeah. other red glass up there? Do we have any we other? Have, um, this one is really interesting. That um, slide the other way or not? I think it does. It might 
Yeah. Yay. 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 We got it to slide mm -hmm. the other way. That's yeah, a good deal. Yeah. Take this, we can get it to slide the other way. So I think this is a good piece. That's a nice piece too. And that one has its label on it, right? Yes. Wonderful. So I like that. We like to try to preserve the labels. I always tell everybody if you're a reseller, remember to try to preserve and protect the tag. Protect yes. the tag, protect the label if you're going to resell it. I like this piece very well. I like the weight of it. I like the shape of it. I like the fact that it has different different um, forms going up. I really like the orange one in the back with the hobnail. Can I get to that? Mm -hmm. Or these hurricanes are cranberry. Those hurricanes are nice, too. Yeah. Okay. How come those got past you, Patty? What happened? Uh, because I don't have the bottoms for them. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you don't have the bottoms. Well, maybe somebody has the bottoms. Notice that those are, of course, etched. Those are nice frosted and etched out. I like those hurricanes a lot. And those will go the other way, and then there's a base to them, and then the, the candle goes inside. But I like those hurricanes. I think they're a beautiful form, uh, unfortunately, without the base. But, you know, a lot of times... It's all about parts, right? <laughs> so yeah. people can actually um, have the base, or maybe they broke one of theirs, and that, that one would fit on their base, so that's nice. How about that yellow-orange hobnail in the back? That's nice yeah, that's pretty. That's a nice ruffled collar compote, traditional form, lovely hobnail. I love the glass. See, that's something that, you know, I'm not walking out of the store without that. That I got to buy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Even Sorry. though it's not blue, I mean, if that were blue, forget it. You wouldn't even forget it. I, I, have, I have to have that. It's beautiful. And that's yeah. a really nice form, a really nice color. Um, how much for that one? And are those matching candlesticks with it, Patty, behind it? No, they're not. No, I think there's only one of these. Oh, different? I can't see it. Yeah, it's a different color. It's a little oh, yeah, totally different. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so back to the one that I loved. So how much is that? Uh, 14. 14? 15, yeah. Yeah, probably worth 20. That's a nice okay. piece. That's a good price. So you're, right. you're, you know, so in, in doing this, you know, you're making sure that your, of course, your customers are, in fact, getting some bargains here, you know, finding the yeah. bargains. That's right. Great. Wonderful. Patty, you were a great hostess, my friend. Thank you for letting us thrift with Dr. Lori there at Riverview Antique and Marketplace in Cheswick, PA. Nice to see you. Thanks again. All right. Thanks again, Dr. Lori. We'll see you see, soon. See you soon.